here on the Pro Wrestling Show. WrestleMania 37, the card keeps growing and growing. As Raw and SmackDown have matches announced, but the rivalries, well, putting Fast Lane on the back burner. He heads to WrestleMania in two weeks. We'll talk about that. Plus, we'll have the Hall of Fame. More names to be announced. Won't believe these two giant of a man that used to be WrestleMania opponents will get to the back store on that. Plus, the latest on Andrade and Charlotte. You know, such situation. Well, all oh, this is more pro wrestling show. Start right now. Pro Wrestling Show. I'm your host as always, Ken Beats here on the Pro Wrestling Show this weekend, weekend edition. We're going to cover everything from Raw to SmackDown to NXT and AEW. You name it, we're going to cover it. But first thing first, join in the conversation using the hashtag Pro Wrestling Hell Connect. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, Ms. Karen. Tell a friend, call a friend, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss a thing. And later on, we'll have hot topics on wrestling, what's going on with the latest, with the two Hall of Famers being announced. And Andrade getting his release and what's next for him. Well, let's get started with the SmackDown Ring Report. With well, SmackDown Ring Report tonight, SmackDown kicked off with Daniel Bryan. He opened the show saying he wants a rematch against Universal Champion Roman Reigns. And he won't leave the ring until he gets it. He was standing in the ring for the first commercial break. He held the show on hostage until he got what he wanted. Well, Alan Pierce came out there trying to reason with Daniel about he had his shot. And then Daniel offered that he can take on whoever wins the Edge and Roman Reigns match at WrestleMania for night one, which I thought it was night two for that match. But he wasn't going to um, let anything go by. Well, Alan Pierce told Daniel Bryan, we have to wait and see on that matter. He couldn't do it. So Bryan suggested that Edge came out there, took exception to the match, and took out Daniel Bryan, hit him with a steel chair, and hit him with a spear. So this was far from over between Edge and Daniel Bryan. It's like Edge and Daniel Bryan with Edge trying to come back. We thought he had a comeback story. And all of a sudden, Daniel Bryan comes out of nowhere, and the fans forced to Daniel Bryan. Again, the Daniel Bryan effect for WrestleMania 30, if you remember, what, about six years ago to today? Six, seven years ago, seven years ago. Yeah, seven years ago. And Daniel Bryant, yeah. Daniel Bryant, on that night, he went against Evolution. He defeated Evolution. He wanted to do it again. But hey, we had to see him wait. But Adam Pierce was going to make a decision that was going to affect the, the change, the landscape of the Universal Championship match at WrestleMania. Speaking of that former Universal Champion, Seth Rollins was in action. He took on Shinsuke Nakamura. Good rematch from that match from Fastlane when Seth won the match. And Seth, um, they hit the curb stop or something like that on Nakamura. Nakamura was trying to get revenge on Cesaro. So Cesaro came out there, took exception to Cesaro, came out there to save his friend Nakamura. And um, Seth Rollins bailed out of town. But Seth Rollins issued a challenge at WrestleMania between him and Cesaro for a match. Cesaro <laughs> accepted by doing the same thing with the swings. Because Cesaro will get his one on one match against Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. So, big up to Cesaro doing that at WrestleMania. You, who never would know that Cesaro would have, had, you know, a couple years ago when he was at WrestleMania 30, won the Battle Royal, going to um, push him up. And now, seven years later, He's back in a prominent spot at WrestleMania in a singles match. Big up to him. Big up to him. Big up to another person. All these WrestleMania matches coming on, glued, and coming together. Apollo Crews teamed up with Apple Accountant. Apollo Crews still wanted the Intercontinental Championship for Fastlane, but he'll get not shot and not opportunity at Big E at WrestleMania for the Intercontinental title. But it'll be on the night two edition of WrestleMania. So Apollo Crews have to get the job done. Well, Apollo Crews went against um, Big E, the Air Continental Champion, the Street Profits. Good match back and forth. But at the end, Apollo Crews pent Big E. Now, since this reign that he should have won the title in the beginning last week. I don't get that. Why? He should be Big E challenging Apollo. Apollo should be winning the title 
And then Big E chasing Apollo for the title. I just lame booking. It's just the silly booking. But there's another match. In another match, added to WrestleMania to this spectacular card, Sami Zayn was a guest on the Kevin Owens show, and Sami was still trying to say that he still think WWE's doing conspiracy theories. Kevin Owens didn't believe into that call of that nonsense. Sami attacked him out behind. So Kevin Owens brought Sami Zayn, his former best friend, to the Kevin Owens show. And Kevin asked the question, me and you one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. Sami was hesitant at first, but Sami agreed. So it's going to be Sami, Owen, Sami Zayn against uh, Kevin Owens one-on-one. And um, Kevin Owens laid Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn trying to get around the ring, trying to run away. Kevin Owens caught him and hit the stunner. The stunner, one, two, three, on Kevin Owens, on Sami Zayn. Um, Sami Zayn said he's going to have a red carpet special with Logan Paul, a YouTuber. So Logan Paul is going to be appearing on SmackDown next week on the Sami Zayn War Show. All right. <laughs> so, now there you go. Also, a WrestleMania match that's already in the making. No one contender for the Women's Championship. Bianca Belair, the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble. Win against Natalia. Trying to finish up bidding with Natalia. She says she's not still leaving her eye out Sasha. Husbands came out there, commentary. No, um, at WrestleMania. Sasha, I me mean, fast line. Sasha slapped Bianca trying to prove a point. Bianca won the match over Natalia using that uh that backbreaker move. And that one, two, three. And Bianca returned the favor. But Sasha turned the favor by doing the backstab on. Letting folks know it's Sasha turning heel. She shines times over here turn. I'll notice that. I will never know what's going on with that. You know, women's tired match between Sasha and Bianca. They campaign now to make that the main event, but I don't see that main event. It'll be rocking body. That's <laughs> the main event. I'm being for real. I'm being for real. <laughs> yeah. Also, Ray Mysterio and his son Dominic, Professor Ray, was in a match against Frank Nathan, champion Dolph Ziggler. Ray doing the most he can in the match, but Ray defeated Dolph Ziggler. We got to wonder, would Ray and Dominic team together and go for the SmackDown World Tag Team title? Only time will tell. It'll be a good side match to see. I think so. so. Hmm. And then at the end of SmackDown, Adam Pierce. Adam Pierce came out there and made his decision. Roman Reigns came out there trying to look and see what Adam Pierce's decision was going to be. Edge came out there. Daniel Bryan came out there. They all wanted to know what Dame, um, Adam Pierce's decision was going to be. The WWE official had to make a, a decision, a difficult decision. It was no question about it. No question about it. That this match was going to be a triple threat match. And it ended up, Adam Pierce said it was going to be a triple threat match. And Roman should knew, Ed should knew, Daniel Bryan won it. It's the Daniel Bryan effect again. And Daniel Bryan always does that at <laughs> WrestleMania. Like I said, WrestleMania 30, when it was supposed to be Batista, Come back, I'm scurrying. Where's the Royal Rumble? And guess you think he's going against Brandon Orton for the title? And then Dan Bryan asked himself in it because the fans won there. And that's the same effect they're doing, the same template they're doing from 2004, 2014. But hey, it was <laughs> But um, that ends. That is the SmackDown Ring Report. Let's move over to the Raw Ring Report. On Monday Raw Ring Report, the WrestleMania card is well, it's growing and expanding. And I mean growing and expanding and more leaps and bounds. Bobby Lashley came out there. The WWE Champion went against Sheamus. Bobby Lashley and Drew will meet at WrestleMania for the WWE title. Sheamus thought he had unfinished business with Drew. Drew finished his business with Sheamus in that, that no hold bar match. Bobby Lashley pent. Sheamus with the uh, Hurt Lock. I don't get why two heels going together. It's just it's kind of odd, but you know, they try to get at with that. Also, Peyton Royce made a comment that on Raw Talk, she won an Oscar, and granted, she did get Oscar. The Raw Women's Champion was in action. She went against Peyton Royce for the champ for not the championship, but non-title. Um, 
Oscar defeat Pam Roy for the Oscar lot. Shouldn't dismiss or Pam Roy. <laughs> All of a sudden, Rila Ripley comes out there, counters Oscar to a championship match at WrestleMania. I know Rhea Ripley was coming, but we didn't know she was coming that soon, that quick. Not going to be after WrestleMania, but due to this time, her circumstance, the Raw Women's Time needs an injection, and then Rhea Ripley was that injection. Oscar herself, so it'll be Oscar versus Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. Hopefully Charlotte don't get involved in the match herself, but you never know. It was promoting that Oscar and Real Ripper will be doing the contract signing, but we had to wait and see what that's going to come about between them two. Will Charlotte step up and want to make a trip to that match? No, Charlotte, she will. Also, the Miz. Miz went against Jeff Hardy. <laughs> And the Miz talking about he wants to challenge Bad Bunny to a match at WrestleMania, but who bears him? Yeah, Jeff, Miz told Jeff Hart, told Bad Bunny to watch the match against Jeff Hart. He's going to be like at WrestleMania. Miz won him match. All of a sudden, Bad Bunny come out with a guitar, hitting Miz from behind. Miz did the same to Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny looked like he was out of breath. And he said that he, he accepts. Now, that's another match. All you matches coming together at WrestleMania from Raw SmackDown from the main show. So, <laughs> so Miz and Bad Bunny, one on one. And y'all seen Bad Bunny Twitter? He's been posting weird stuff. Like he got pink armpits. And you were on a wrestler at WrestleMania? Okay. You were here. Also, Former two former WWE champions within the ring, Kofi Kingston versus AJ Styles. We know that AJ and his bodyguard almost will be challenging the New Day for the Raw Tag Team titles. So they had a warm up, a little quick warm up match where Kofi Kingston defeat AJ Styles in a good classic match. But um, AJ won by pinfall. So again, the one with the big man almost is going to do in that match. <laughs> almost damn is seven foot five. Wow, that's impressive. I don't know where they're going to go, but we'll see. Also, on the two-on-one handicap match, um, the Hurt Business is on former Raw Tag Team champ Sage Alexander and Sheldon Benjamin went against Drew McIntyre. If Drew won, Cedric and Shelton could not will be banned for ringside in the WWE title match. Well, Bobby Lashley was in trouble, and Drew was playing around with Cedric and Shelton, and he won the match, so... Now both men, who next? MVP? What MVP going to do at WrestleMania? Maybe use his cane. Never know. Also, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler went against the Wild Women's Tag Team champ. The Women's Tag Team Champion went against Dana Brooke and Mandy Rose. They beat them, one, two, three, and Naomi and Nana was at ringside. So look for that being a championship match or multiple time women's time match between all those women. And finally, Alexa Bliss and Randy Orton. Randy Orton called out Alexa Bliss. The Fiend showed up. Randy Orton tried to summon the Fiend. The Fiend did show up. The Fiend came out of nowhere. You saw Fastlane. You know what I'm talking about. That Alexa Bliss defeated Randy Orton by the help of the Fiend. And the Fiend came out there and did some devastating. He looked like he had a mask on. He was like Freddy Cougar and Jason Voorhees and Dark Vader all rolled into one. But but um the Fiend did the sister Abigail and the Fiend pointed at the WrestleMania side and Alexa Bliss well Alexa Bliss pointed at it. She said that she the Fiend wants to meet Randy Orton at WrestleMania one on one. Well it's this long term story building between the Fiend and Randy Orton. So we'll see how that's gonna end up at WrestleMania. All right, that ends the Raw Ring Report. When we return, we'll have more. We'll have the Wednesday Night Ring Reports. And also, coming up, we'll have hot topics as we'll talk about the two latest inductees into the WWE Hall of Fame, the Giant of Men. And we have what's the latest on the Andrade. I did this got his request. He won the release, and he got his release granted. And now Andrade is now. What's next? All this and more with the Pro Wrestling Show continues after this. Back to the Pro Wrestling Show. I'm your host. 
host of Wild Wings Dicks here on this Pro Wrestling Weekend. Thank you all for watching. First thing first, join in the conversation using the hashtag Pro Wrestling on Connect. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe as you can. Tell a friend, call a friend, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing here on the Pro Wrestling Show. We'll get to the Wednesday night ring reports with NST and AEW. But first, let's get to hot topics on hot topics this week. All right. We just found out news that Impact Wrestling has decided they want to move to a new night. <sighs> you know how they go. <laughs> they want to move on Thursdays instead of Tuesdays. They've been moving since Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Monday. Every other week, they ain't never moved on a set on Sunday. So, you <laughs> know, there you go. But Impact I'm trying to move ahead of schedule before NXT makes the move to move to Tuesday nights. I mean, how are they going to divide the audience when Impact ain't they in competition with them? <laughs> Y'all ain't spending no big dollars and no big bucks. So, I got Twitch for folks who ain't got um, the Access TV or nothing like that. We're going to pay for Access TV for real. <laughs> Y'all ain't on no network, no major network, but to each his own. But I could have kept on that. Y'all could have been on, like, I don't know, sometime. Well, we know NXT moving on Tuesdays, so we need to move away from Tuesdays and move on Thursdays. How, how that go? going to pan it out. <sighs> they smack down and shit. <laughs> but I get it, but you know, there you go. Also, WWE announced a new TV deal in Ireland. So they're going to be doing a, a recap show on Raw and SmackDown. Hey, that's fine. That's, that works. <laughs> that works. WWE expanding their growth. I mean, we can blame them. We're expanding. Also, Cody Rhodes and Brandy Rhodes. Are getting a reality show, and um, it's gonna be called "Rose to the Top." So let it go, "Rose to the Top." Cody and Brandy, "Rose into the Top." Also, Chris Bay is out of action. Impact star, the former X Division champion, didn't announce it, but he's out of action right now as we speak. So when his recovery, his turn comes, you will know. Also, WWE is not planning on to tour soon. So, WWE is not going to tour. I think they're trying to experiment WrestleMania, but they're going to be in the Thunderdome. They moved to the uh, Sundome. So, they're supposed to move to the Sundome by April 12th. It was the event. The Sundome has held previous WWE events like the WWE Royal Rumble back in 1995. And they're returning since they've been in that Thunderdome, been running everywhere. They run to Orlando. To um, to that Tampa field now. There's a lot going on this week. <laughs> a lot going on this week on WWE. Um, Kane and the Great Lee are the latest inductees into the WWE Hall of Fame. So congratulations, Kane and the Great Lee. Wow, Kane and the Great Lee. And you remember they both wrestled at WrestleMania 23 against each other. So feeling that um. What, 14 years later, they're going to the uh, Hall of Fame together? So, nice enough. I bet you who going to duck Kane? I bet you Dan Brown going to duck Kane. Bet you he's going to do that. Bet you he's going to do that. I don't know what Greg probably translator. <laughs> there you go. Also, we heard rumors. Charlotte's been not been missing the action. After um, many people thought she was in with the, her fiance, Drade, wanted to request his leave from um, WWE. He got his request, and uh, a lot of people thought Charlotte stood and protested. But in the actuality, Charlotte had COVID 19. So Charlotte um, might be coming back. They said she might come back in midday. So look for her coming on Raw to interrupt that contract sign. Want her add her name to the mix. Also, WWE and Peacock. 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 Yeah, the Peacock Network. Peacock Screaming Service now has the WWE um, Network under their umbrella. Um, they're trying to use their standards and practices to get everything that looks like that was kind of racist or 
don't make no sense at all. Trying to cut everything, cut between the red tape. They said they cut the Roddy Piper incident at WrestleMania 5, 6 with Bad News Brown. Um, Mr. McMahon saying the N word at Survivor Series. I mean, they couldn't, they, they said they couldn't do everything. They should just look through and say, well, we, we can't, uh uh, we can't deal with that. And that's what, I'm like, Peacock put themselves in the predicament that they can't even get themselves out the corner. Peacock, like the Peacock Network. <laughs> So, also, um, Impact removed Rebellion. They're saying the UFC. Impact just trying to avoid fights. You got to look through things through, and you got to see, like, what works and what just don't jump in, and then all of a sudden, just like they're making the movie Wednesday, the Tuesday, to the Thursday nights from Tuesday to Thursday, and it was on Wednesday to Tuesday. I don't know. It was just weird. It was on Wednesday, and then it was on Friday. I don't know, it's just, they don't even know what what, what, what they want to do. For real. And, um, AEW signs Red Velvet, Red Velvet, part of the AEW family. I guess they even signed them because that pressing match she did with Jade and Shaq, that was a good match. Would like to say that, admit to that. Oh, now they go. Uh, so Andrade, we found that Andrade wanted his release. He got his release granted. So now Andrade's a free agent. Uh, he never signed a nine-day complete cards, which I'm shocked at that. But you know how they go. But um, Andrade saying that he's he's doing things his way. He's gonna do it the way he want to do it. So big up to Andrade. Oh, that. Well, um, we have to wait and see where he lands. Well, he reunite with Selena Vega, and they will go to a company like AEW, or Ring of Honor, or New Japan, or CLM. But you never know. But we'll see. All right, that ends hot topics. Let's move over to the NXT Ring Report. On the NXT Ring Report, it wasn't really that much to be honest. Which NXT did cover a couple of matches. I think Paulo's Escobar and Jordan Devin. They they want to dispute to be who's gonna be the cruiserweight champion. All of a sudden, Shawn Michaels comes out there and makes a suggestion and put the ladder out. And there you go, right there. Two who want to be two champions. Put your two bills up in the air, and then y'all fight over. And when y'all who picks it wins the wins the becomes the undisputed undisputed cruiserweight champion. Then Finn Balor and Karrion Cross their saga. <clears throat> I think we're gonna see that. Between Battle and Cross and Takeover, Stand and Deliver. And then um, Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. That was a moment right there. They had contract signing. Adam Cole talked about the Undisputed Era it was all his brainchild and saying that Ken, Karen Omega, and I can't remember, but um, it just didn't pan out with Kyle O'Reilly. And he said he's going to prove a point. We got to wait and see on that. So, with that, also, um, let's see, we talked about that. Walter went against Ray Maverick. Walter got challenged by Tommaso Ciampa. Tommaso Ciampa wants a match against Walter for the UK title. It's going to happen at TakeOver. They're trying to be like, NXT trying to be like um, WrestleMania, their version of WrestleMania. Also, Bronson Reed defeated Eli Drake. L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight just coming in WWE. He getting buried. I hope he don't come to the main roster and get, you know, know how that go. Know how that go. <laughs> um, also, the Toa Kai and Raquel Gonzalez defeated Eero Shirai and Zoe Stark. Eero and um, Raquel are supposed to have a women's time match at TakeOver Stand and Deliver. So, we had to wait and see on that one. So, all right. That ends the NXT Ring Report on the AEW Ring Report. AEW kicked off with Ken Omega, the AEW champion. And he was just just rambling about any and everything. Um, let's see what he was saying. He was rambling. Yeah, he went against Matt Sidell. 
and Max Idea won, he would get a tie match. Well, he didn't, um, I guess he didn't win. No, he did not win. He did not win. Kenna made one by pinfall with the one, one V trigger, the one win Angel. And, um, Heyman Page when he gets seizure, but not only won by a clothesline. Also, they talked about Thunder Rose and Tony Schiavone was talking to Breaker came out there. Big Breaker um, bragging about that hellacious match she had against Thunder Rosa. It was hellacious, but she did pick up the win. Also, um, Kaz and Christian, they're going to have a match like um, that old TNA days again. But, well, there you go. Also, the Varsity Blondes and Dwayne Martin, Dante Martin winning against FTR and Sean Spears, the Pinnacle, but Tully Blanchard, Warlord, and MJL. And um, the Pinnacle won, and they cut a promo about the um, inner circle. They ain't seen them. They ain't coming back and all that nonsense. Also, Cody Rhodes and QT Marshall will meet one-on-one in an exhibition match with Arn Anderson, as special guest referee, and that's going to be intriguing to see on that. Also, um, the Lucha Brothers, the Red Kid, when it's the Young Bucks and Brandon Cutler, the Lucha Brothers won, the Red Kid. Ken Omega comes out now and jumps the root, and then he asks the Young Bucks, if you're with me, are you against me? The young Bucks was kind of hesitant, but Young Bucks didn't want to do that, and all of a sudden, it happened. So Young Bucks and Omega are no longer the elite. So you know how that go. And, um, uh, Jay came out there and she did a promo talking about she wanted a piece of red velvet and she's gonna get it. Also, Nile Rose and when and Ricky Guerrero when he gets Ty Conte. Um Ty Conte won and Ty Conte's getting better. I don't think with WWE they they just wasting talent. You know how they go. So uh also we heard that it's gonna be Christian versus Frank Azera. Cody Rose versus Q2 March and Exhibition Man for Arn Anderson, Special Guest Referee. Orange Cast and Chuck Taylor versus Miro and Kip Sabian in the RK Anarchy. So we don't know what that means. It's going to be RK games around the ring, and you're going to have to fight in the RK. I mean, it's getting crazier and crazier. I mean, crazy. And then Hiroshi and Ty Conti versus The Bunny and Nile Rose. We, we meant um, Nick, The Bunny did come out there, so she's coming out there for some. Ken Omega and the Good Brothers versus Lucha Brothers and Laredo Kid. Also, Scorpio Sky saying he's getting tired of being screwed, and he'll face he'll be the face of Revolution. And on Monday, he'll be Sky versus Mike's idea. I, good God. <laughs> And Darby Allen versus John Silver with the Dark Order in his corner for the TNT title. Um, Darby, it was a good match. Sting came out there. And then they had Matt, I think Matt Hardy came out there with his team and the private party and the Butcher and the Blade and the Bunny with the Dark Order and Sting. And it's getting crazier and crazier each week on AEW. It's like um, uh, Pier 6 Brawl. You know how they go. All right. That is the AEW Re Report. Thank you all for watching this edition of the Pro Wrestling Show. I've been your host, Kenny Dixon. So long. We'll see you next week for another edition of the Pro Wrestling Show. See you later.